different places in the world, different continents, different states, and tells us how many visitors have come from those different places in the past seven years, even the last seven years. And uh, the grand total of visitors is 11 and a half million visitors in the past seven years. So thank you for helping us get to 12 million visitors. We'll hopefully do that before the year is out. And uh, you can see that plate comes from all different corners of the earth. Most of the All right, so let's get on to the next speaker, which is a new feature. This was installed only about a year, year and a half ago. The neighborhood we are in is the most historic neighborhood in the city. We're going to learn about the history of the neighborhood and New York City on this video. So I'm going to ask you to come over to me along this railing, I'm going to stand in, in, in among you here. I'm going to narrate this as it goes. We start 400 years ago, and 400 years ago, the island of Manhattan was covered in a forest. The only people who lived here were the Lenape Indians, right? There were explorers from Europe, and finally, in the 1620s, the Dutch arrived. They settled in this area, they built a town, they called it New Amsterdam. Now, after a few decades, the British came along and they captured New Amsterdam. They changed the name of the city to New York. So that's where the name comes from. With the American Revolution, of course, the British get kicked out of the city. New York becomes an American city. And it thrives and it grows as a seaport, one of the great seaports of North America. What you're seeing here, these are maps, images, illustrations from this adolescent period when New York was in the early 1800s to the middle 1800s. Now we're going to leap ahead a little bit. This neighborhood was the first illuminated neighborhood. Thomas Edison, you see this photo, invented the light bulb. Then he built a generating plant not far from here and wired up all the nearby buildings with electricity and electric lights. Now, New York grew so quickly on the island of Manhattan, it looked to expand into Brooklyn. So they built the Brooklyn Bridge, the Manhattan Bridge, and the Williamsburg Bridge to connect Brooklyn to Manhattan. We'll see those bridges upstairs. We'll also see Ellis Island. Ellis Island is where immigrants were processed to become American citizens. Folks, we're going to stop in this space for just a minute. I want to talk about this room. I'm going to ask you to favor this side of the room so other people can pass. Now, the reason why this space is decorated like this is to tell us we are underground. So we're about 30 feet underground. That's about 10 meters underground, right? But we're not at the bottom of the building. Below the floor we're standing on are 40 more feet of subcellars until finally you get to the bedrock that sits under the building, right? So 70 feet below the street, that's about 22 meters below the street, you 
get to the bedrock. The bedrock looks like this. Now this is not real, this is plastic, right? But the real stuff looks just like this. And it's called Manhattan Schist. Manhattan Schist. The most carefully pronounced word on this tour. Right? <laughs> now, there is a layer of this bedrock under the island of Manhattan. That's a really good thing, because we like to build skyscrapers. You build a skyscraper, you want to build it on the bedrock, right? Now, apparently they haven't learned this lesson in San Francisco. <laughs> Anybody here from San Francisco? Yeah, Millennium Tower. Yeah, so they built a building there about 14 years ago <laughs> called the Millennium Tower. They didn't build it on bedrock, they mm. built it on fill. Fill is basically dirt. Well, after a couple of years, the building started to sink mm. and tilt because it didn't sink evenly. Last time I checked, the Millennium Tower was tilting 27 inches. That's over two thirds of a meter. Crazy, absolutely crazy. We don't have that problem in New York City if you build your building on this stuff. Okay, all right, follow. So, you need a men's room, the men's room's on the right.